The last time that Mrs. Borden was seen alive was around 9 a.m. by the maid, Bridget, and her infamous stepdaughter, Lizzie Borden. Her sister, Emma, was out of town at the time, and Mr. Borden and Uncle John were down at Fall River. Lizzie claims to have been downstairs doing chores. It seems that Mrs. Borden didn't struggle with her attacker. Peculiar, isn't it? Either Mrs. Borden knew her attacker and didn't fight back, or she was snuck up on from behind. We don't know exactly what happened to Mrs. Borden, but what we do know are where her wounds were. One blow struck her behind her ear on the left side of her head. Another between her shoulder blades going four inches deep. The next 17 blows focused on the back of her head and neck. Eventually, Mrs. Borden was found in a pool of her own blood. She was killed in the room where her Uncle John had slept the night before. This is now known as the murder room and is the most requested room in the Lizzie Borden Axe Murder House and Museum. In the picture in the living room where the autopsy was performed, you can see Mrs. Borden lying face down in a pool of her own coagulated blood. And in the mirror, you can see the camera that took the picture. This is the first crime scene photos taken in the United States. How's that for a fun fact? 